Oh, well, well, folks, and I'm back. I checked what I was saying, and it just, um, remember I was saying about, um, people have misconception about AV and whatnot. Yeah, I was just saying about that. It just, my mind completely blanked. I'm tired. Um, I just kind of, I woke up a bit before nine, just kind of, I, I wasn't fully done sleeping. I just kind of woke up. Oh, okay, I'll keep on that run to the bathroom. And I never got any sleep after that, so I'm kind of... Basically, I'm, I'm still wrecked. And I'm, it's now nearly one. You know? It's... Been what? Nearly 17 hours, so yeah, it's it, provided my maths is right. It probably isn't. Hey, up! I can't carry anymore. Bender. You find what you seek. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I was saying was just the, yeah, um, oh yeah, it's, I was saying about misconception about AV and whatnot, and I was worried that people wouldn't be queuing up for it, and I wouldn't, just wouldn't get to play it anymore. While I'm rarely playing it now, I'm at least rarely doing it, if it's not in the, if people just aren't queuing up for the epic battlegrounds, then I probably won't get, you know, get to do AV at all. At least with the other one, there's a random chance of it coming up. Even if it's a small one. Um, and the other thing... Um, but yeah, basically... Yeah, I woke uh, woke up early. Um, and... Uh, you know, woke up before I was done sleeping. And I never got... Went, never went back to bed. I just stayed awake. Because I figured if I went back to bed, then I'd end up oversleeping. So... So is there enough interest down here? So and so the corruptor. Uh, not of interest. Um, I'll go deal with the enemies outside. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just kind of wrecked, and my brain ain't fully functioning. I know I probably should stop recording, but I just want to push through and get this tank to exalt. Just, I'm just there, and if I just do all these quests, I'll get, I'll get there. So, just a bit more, you know. Nice. I'm still up in the air about the whole um, archaeology thing. Army's thinking, you know what? I could keep coming back every so often, record a bit of Legion. Um, Uh, and, you know, get as much as I can done up to the expansion of, you know, Battle for Azeroth. Uh, up to, uh, sorry, up to the release of it. Same time. Need one more totem. Um, but same time, I'm feeling like... You know what? I'll just do them all in in battle. Like, you no. Know, let's say I play up to skip to next one. Let's say I play up to here. It's me. I do all the archaeology things between now and then, and I'll just you know leave it there. And you know when I pick it back up in Battle for Azeroth, I'll continue them then. Maybe if you know one while I'm doing the pre-patch, there's one up. Maybe I'll do I'll do that one. But I'll finish it all off in Battle for Azeroth. Part of me is thinking that, because I'm going to have to do at least one anyway. And I'm probably going to have to do more than one in Battle for Azeroth anyway. Like, so far it's one, but I'm probably going to run into duplicates uh, soon enough anyway. 
Uh, sorry, I'm probably going to run into more duplicates in in the coming weeks. So I'm going to have to do, you know, more than uh, you know, somewhat somewhat more than one inbound for Azeroth anyway. So army's thinking, just get a, get a few done now. We've dressed till then, just so, just to give myself a break from Legion, break from doing all this, you know, again and again. And so I can get other work done because plenty of other things has fallen by the wayside. Just I was saying like, oh, I'll get it all done, and uh, and I feel bad breaking the promise. But since I've started getting duplicates, I can't get it all done before Legion ends. And um, oh, I have a quest to kill this guy as well. Nice. I'll even cast Vortex and Rito doesn't matter. But yeah, I know I had a plan, but things have gone scale away, so I'm just thinking, you know, what should I do now, you know? You know, I'll hum and haw about it, I'll think about it, and I'll see what I come up with. Because I'm, I'm, like, I'm just thinking all out here, you know? I'm not, not really sure what to do or what's the right course of action. And since you won't be able to give me feedback on this for ages, you, you know, you can't really be of any help. You know, by the time you can give me any feedback, it's a bit late. You know, I'm just still thinking about it. I'm just thinking, you know what? Yeah, maybe that wouldn't be too bad. Like, I'll get, you know, I'll get what I've planned done. But, uh, but I'll, and I'll get, you know, as long as I'm still doing it, I'll get the archaeology stuff done. But I'll leave most of it, I'll leave whatever's left to do in Battle for Azeroth. But I'll still get, you know, the Mage Terror stuff done. I'll try and get Balance of Power done. I'll try and, I'll do as much PvP as I can. I'll, you know, I'll try and get, you know, do what I still have planned, but I'll leave that on, you know, do as much of that as I can, and then I'll leave it to finish. Y you're still getting a fair send-off to Legion. It's not the full thing I was wanting, but to be honest as is, you're getting plenty of episodes. <sighs> Damn, I'd have, I'd have it phrased better in my head, you know? I hate when that happens. That's why I like writing, because I can work it out there, and, you know, my nerves don't get to me quite as bad. Not till I re re uh, go to say it, anyway. But, um... Here, give me one sec. Okay, I've thought a better way of saying it, but it's probably going to escape. I, I'll do... I'll keep gearing up. I'll do the both of the mage towers. I'll... Damn, it's already escaped me. I'll keep doing uh, as much PvP as I can. I'll keep doing... Damn, it is escaping me. I had it thought out and I really liked the phrasing. Like, I'll worry about... I'll keep doing first aid. I'll do as much archaeology as I can. I'll keep doing what I had planned to do. But I do need to take a break from Legion. I feel terrible about it, but I do need to actually stop, sit back and say, you know what, I've done enough work here on this expansion at the end game, because I'm burning the hell out. I do feel my, I, I, while I'm very fixated on this, it's because I don't want to miss out on content, like the Grove Warden, where someone lied, and I end up losing content. Oh, missing out on that quest for, uh, quest for you, and that mount. I don't want that, you know, missing out on content or anything like that. So I'm just fixating on it to try and get everything done. 
but I'm gonna burn myself out, and I won't enjoy myself when Battle for Azeroth comes around because it's just like oh, I'm, I'm 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 tired of this game, you know. So I'll do as much. I'll I'll, I'll get the mage towers down. I'll get a gear up. I'll get all the, the first aid stuff done. I'll get the title. I'll get those bandage grindings. Uh, the bandage grinding done. I'll get. Um, as, I'll do as much PvPing as I can. That still might be available in Battle for Azeroth, so hopefully all will be well. It's me. So, and I'll do as much archaeology as I can, and about for Azeroth, I'll come back. I will still be doing like the tour of the zones, just you know, wandering around, admiring the sites. I'll do the send off to the PvP. Uh, sorry, not PvP. Send off to the raids where I just feel how far. I'll go through each raid one after the other, see what there is to see. And then move on. Um, just, you know, taking the sights, the tour, you know? Just as a part of the final send off to the tank. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not cutting this short or I'm dropping a ton out. It's just simply, I only get those quests every two weeks. And there's going to be a lot of repeats. I'm not going to have to go into Battle for Azeroth anyway. So, so part of me is thinking, as, you know, as long as I'm still doing the other stuff, I'll keep doing the archaeology. But after, when I'm done the other stuff, I'm not going to come back to do the archaeology stuff. Not till Battle for Azeroth. Because, and that's just so, solely because... I need to take a break from the game. I, I need to go back to more time. I need to get more custom campaign stuff recorded. I need to go work on Warcraft, Warcraft 3. I need to get other things recorded. I've done nothing but for the last like a month, but fixate on Legion. And it's the end game. It's not like when you're leveling, 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 going through the zones. It's really fun. It's really interesting. Because it's all new. But when you're doing the same world quests again and again and again, it does get quite painful quite quickly. And I'm burning out because of that. So yeah, I'll be doing all I'll do I'll be doing what I planned. And I'll still do those sends offs and all that, but it just I'll become the archaeology bit a bit short. You know, as long as I'm doing the other stuff, I'll keep doing them. But when I'm done the other stuff then I then I'm gonna Stop doing the archaeology for now. For battle, for, uh, till battle for Azeroth. Till I'm maxed out there, then I'll come back. Uh, much like what I'm doing with Wad, I'll come back and I'll do the quests. Then I'll go back to the battle for Azeroth territory. So yeah, I think that sounds fair. Uh, I just clicked the wrong bit there, so let me make sure everyone's fine. Eighty one, forty, seventy. 0, 30, 60, 90, 20. Line across. Line across. Line up. Line to the left. Line to the right. Line up. Okay, also apparently... Yeah. It, the um, grass here was in the shape of Lucera. So... That's cool. Nice, nice little touch. Well, it's general dragon shape. Maybe, maybe Sarah was lying like this, but I swear her head was bigger. Regardless, I can't believe she's dead. Okay, you.
that was easy. With that guy is kind of weird. He was just like, bah, lucky. I, like, each time, like, not very happy with that we won. Then he's like, outstanding, pal, and I. It's just, maybe it's more sarcasm and just didn't come across in the text. Eh. Archmage. Archmage, smart mage. I got the Ashbringer. So, actually, wait. If I got Mercadin, then let's put him there. Why would my leveling up the other guy? Mercadin? Uh, no. Gonna be honest, uh, Murloc Ilden? Gonna take priority. Oh, really? This one? I'm not a fan of this one. And we woke our druids trapped in Sleeper's Barrel. The nightmare now stirs with him. Dispatch the foul denizens who taint it. Well, that's the golden shower. I wonder if we'll get to see the uh, old gods behind the behind the Emerald Nightmare in the expansion, because we're going to see a new Titan prison. It's going to be the first uh, raid in Battle for Azeroth. So I wonder if we're going to see a new old god in there. Might be a bit early in the expansion though for us to kill off an old god though. I know the old gods just see more later on material. Uh, but yeah, uh, um, old gods just seem like more of a late expansion uh, body rather than opening tier one, you know. But that's just my perception. That's just my perception. Blizzard might. And probably does have a different opinion. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Certainly, who knows, maybe there is a old god lackey. Uh, an, an old god in there, but it escapes and leaves behind a powerful lackey. But, you know, more fitting for, us, for the first raid, you know? Seems like these uh, he aggro because of butts and bludgeoning him. Interesting. I can't carry anymore. So, you know, maybe that will help. Who bloody well knows. Also, Shar is going to be in, in it as a raid boss. Part of me wonders, are we going to kill her off, or is she going to survive? Um, and, you know, escape. Because I know, she's just been around for so long, it's... And just been... Like, we've seen bits of her here on and off in the expansions and whatnot. Um, just part of me is, uh, you know, thinking like, you know, in a way I would almost, I kind of, oh, nice, that's, I wish I knew about that. Um, I kind of hope she doesn't get killed off. Like, I hope we don't kill her off in the raid, you know, because she's been around, yeah, I've, I've barely got pat by by two, uh, by, I've just two points over, so uh, three points, nice. But yeah, it's just, um, we've seen, like, bits of her on and off throughout the expansion. She is important in the lore. She is very important in the lore. But we haven't really seen too much of her in-game. We've seen her a bit in Kata, a bit in, uh, Legion. And that's it. There's been Naga turning up every so often doing stuff, but, you know, they've just, you know, I know. 
it's one thing seeing Naga, it's another thing seeing her, you know? So it's just like kind of, like, sure, she can turn up as Rain Boss, but I kind of don't want her dying off because I kind of want to see more of her, you know? Because, at least, I, I don't know. I, I know what she was like before the, like, in the war, I know what she was like before she, before, you know, the Legion invasion and whatnot. I, well, like, I know she sided with Sagaris, so she wanted power, and I know she made a last-ditch, uh, uh, you know, deal with an old god to, so that she would survive the cat, the shattering, or whatever it was called, you know, when the, uh, con when the continent broke. But I have no idea what she's like now. She's, like, not, not liable to have improved anyway, but, you know, is she allied with the old god still? Is she, after trying to strike out on her own, you know, what's she doing? I would love to know. Like, I want to know more about her, and presume we will find out about it, about her in, you know, before we get to kill her. But at the same time, just at least from where I'm standing right now, I feel like I don't know enough about her that, um, that I don't want to see her just killed off, because I'll feel it's a bit too soon, you know? Like, I, since she's so important in the war, I want her to have a bit more screen time before we get to stop her, you know? That's my, that's my main crux, it's just I feel she hasn't had enough screen time. So I hope if we do have a raid fight, she does manage to weasel way out of it. And come back in a later raid. Back for vengeance, you know? But I'm not sure, I don't think Blizzard has ever really done that, have they? They did have a boss die at the end of one dungeon, and could be resurrected in time for to be the boss for at the end of a raid and they had a few bosses died and get resurrected maybe they could do a boss you know actually they did have one boss uh, one raid boss at the end of Sunwell called Jaden get fended off and then sucked back through the portal so he did he didn't die but we still got loose and we did still defeat him so maybe they could pull the same thing there with uh, what's her name Shara yeah they, maybe they could pull the same thing with her because like I said, she has, to me, for me, she hasn't got enough screen time. She hasn't got enough on-screen presence. She's important in the war and the novels, but you haven't really seen her um, and whatnot. So I feel, you know, it'd be too soon to kill her off. Because I want to see more of her before she's a corpse. So, yeah. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. That, that you know, that'll, be, that'll happen. We'll get to see more of her before they kill her off, and, you know, all's good. But yeah, I am excited for the expansion, to see what they do, what happens, all that. Just need to get this shite done first. And I mean shite in the most endearing way possible. I, I, I assure you. So, yeah. Most in most endearing way possible. Um, like it's fine content. It, it's perfectly fine. I mean, shite is in stuff, and the fact I'm burnt the fuck out. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Maybe I want to double back. Not sure. Maybe this was an alternative path up. Seems like that was the case. Well, that's annoying. Still, got more. Just catch up to where I should be. And uh, we'll continue. I just... That didn't spawn by the time I turned. I swear they had lower health before. Or maybe it was a different one. <laughs> That's it, really. I made achievement progress with friends in a broken land, which is guess just get to exalted with one of them. There's no ex uh, no achievement for getting to exalted with 
all of them. Which sucks. It really does. I'm now exalted with all of the main tanks. Oh, and I've apparently unlocked High Mountain Torrin. But I might need to do that on a Horty, because... Yeah. So I'm not really sure why I even have this on a Alliance person. You know? Because I can't get High Mountain Torrent. Also, I actually remember seeing about, you know, the emissary, like the people in the uh, embassies. There's going to be two, uh, you know, for your home continent. Two for uh, something else. And then one emissary for your, like the war uh, between, you know, Alliance and Horde. For requests on the opponent's continent. So, you, you, you can look this all up. I'm sure there's even more data out um, than what I have. Because, you know, you're getting this information all later than I am. Like, um, the information you'll have will be much closer to release. My stuff is all, you know, information back from May or earlier, you know? But, well, yours is not. Wait. Hmm. They say I'm locked to that normal one. Does that mean I can't... No, no. I think I can... I think I can get into another raid and kill bosses that I'm not after uh, killing and get loot. I think I can do that. I'm not sure. Or I'm not sure in the slightest. I, but I think I can do that. It just remember someone else was saying that they had already gotten loot from those bosses. Before, then again, maybe they mean that they've already gotten uh, like all the loot that the boss can give them. As in, you know, say if boss can give A, B, and C, and you already have A, B, and C, maybe that's what they meant. Well, none for it except to try, eh? Sadly, I didn't get a stat increase. Uh, well, I did get stat increase, but I didn't get a nightmare level increase from what I was doing. Which is annoying. Bloody nuisance. So, I'll be stopping off in High Mountain, getting the chest from there. Then I'll be heading to Azuna and seeing if I can't finish the uh, the other thing. And out of curiosity, exploration, legion. A depth sky to a uh, dimensional rifting. Not sure what that will, you know, get me. So I'll find out. Get ooh, twenty thousand sightless eyes. Gets me a mount. That'll be easier to do in the expansion. And when there's less people there, so I can just start those like PVP things and loot the chest for myself. And um, so hopefully that will get me, a, you know, make... Actually, no, I don't need to make a profit. If I just even cut even, that's fine, because it's loot 20,000. So, yeah. But anyway, um... Excuse me. Um, and I'll be able to kill the bosses even easier in the expansion. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. So... Just need to do get one more, and I'm done. Discover the hidden treasures of Argus. You know, if I actually cared enough, I could easily seek all these out. Easily. I'll just need to switch around my abilities on my journeys. I do that in the expansion. When I can handle all the enemies much easier. Because right now, the fl uh, Holy Flamethrower is quite useful. And similarly, if I cared enough, these would all be pretty easy to get. Because of the maw on the ma my map. Special Encounters. Rage Maw. I think I saw Rage Maw before and I never killed him. I'm annoyed. Scout Harefoot. Gorgor Gor Gorgoth. I have to just put that, uh, use the Sentinel next beacon in the Shadow Fissure, Fell Strand, uh, Fell Rage Strand, and the Crescent Runes. Naxed Victim. Which makes me think too much of Naxxramas, honestly. Um. So each of the demonic lieutenants, that's easy enough to do. 
uh, defeated each of the following legion generals by completing the greater invasion scenarios. Ocularis and Pit Lord Valmus. So, we are now prepared to complete the Legion, the Argus campaign. Um, now I guess I can do that. And, I would like to get Lightbringer as a title, given that I'm a paladin, it kind of fits, doesn't it? Now move over, Uther. But yeah, I like this. Yeah, I, I I like the title, and you know they don't look too bad, you know. Come back once in a while, well, check see you know who's the each general up this week. If it's one to two, I need, you know, way away, away I go. Might might even do it even if they aren't for the um, gear and uh, artifact power. Uh, then just do some minor ones. Fair few I need to do there. And then just I could easily just trank that out in one day. Just have to go keep switching my powers. You know, that wouldn't be too hard. So, you know what? I could easily get Light Lightbringer if I really, really wanted to. But I'm too focused on the other stuff. Like I said. Bit too burnt out. Look to the skies. I have just the thing for you. Together we Thank you, Eeyore. I know, just something about how she talks just makes me think of Eeyore, a female one. Okay, it's just white water uh, groupers. Uh, you, you. Okay, and up. Talk, sell these. Okay, now let's head back to Azuna. Uh, we'll just head to this terrace. That's uh, as far as I need to go for the book to work. Not even sure what getting the superior book will do for me, but uh, the Adept's book. But uh, we'll find out, I'm sure. Draenor is kind of depressing, honestly. Just because it could have been so more, so much more, and we just never got to see it. It's just depressing, you know. Complete the quest for kindling an old flame without using a kindling flame to rekindle the essence in Magnarok. Um, alright. Dispose of 40 fo uh, floating orcs in Shatrat City. I'm still really upset. Uh, like, just looking back at Legion just depresses me. Because it, like, I like the idea. And they, it just didn't have a chance. It just, just didn't have a chance. It's 
dead on arrival. And it's just depressing. Because it'll never actually get finished, you know? It's depressing. Come on, be part six. Part seven, of course. But a trembling hand. Huh. The, the energy of the ley lines is pure power, and would have been due oh so much. A civilization has been draw, drawn to this en energy since we first took a refuge in the dark forest and warrens. I believe it is inevitable that our people will find more of these great and powerful, and powerful nexus points to develop into a dominant and weakness-free society. Your path to a dimensional rifter will hopefully take you to the pinnacle of a great society. Since I have flying now, I could probably just fly up and find the book. You know? You know what? Sure. Feels a bit wrong, but at the same time... You know what? I'm curious. B-E-G-I-N-N -N. Beginner's Guide to the not day trading, die men dimensional rifting. Comments. Apparently, each, the, each of these books resets at midnight server time and not at the daily reset time. Hmm. Interesting. Gorgonite. Alright. That's who said it on my head. Oh, someone's saying, actually... Someone was claiming here on uh, Wowhead that each day had a particular one. But, and, but the Australians were a day ahead. But that, I just got... Apparently, Ireland is two days ahead. Okay, uh, they have a waypoint thing, a slash way a z u n a sixty one point eleven, sixty four point twenty six, chapter six. Okay, never mind. I think I did that wrong. So, let's see. Let's do it manually. Uh, let's find 61. 61. 46. 